Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Valerie and today I will be showing you how to create these beautiful mesh sleeves. This tutorial is beginner friendly and I will guide you through each step, so even if you have never crocheted before, you'll be able to crochet these sleeves with ease. So you will need some yarn. I have two balls of yarn of 50 grams each. There's the information. You will also need a 6.5mm crochet hook and a darning needle. First, we're going to make a slip knot. So take your yarn as I show, cross it, then grab the working yarn and pull it through the hole. Now we're going to make a chain. Put the yarn on your index finger like this and hold the end of it with your thumb. Then wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it through the loop. Again, wrap the yarn and pull it through the loop. In the same way, we're going to chain an amount that is equivalent to the half your bust measurement plus a little bit more. I'm going to chain 64. My bust measurement is about 86 cm, and as you can see, I have about 45 cm worth of chains, so that's a little bit more than half of my bust. Now we're going to do 9 additional chains. And then you're going to double crochet into the 10th chain. So to do double crochet, start with the yarn over, then go into the 10th chain from the hook, Yarn over again and pull the yarn through, so you should have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over again and pull the yarn through just the first 2 loops, leaving you with 2 loops on the hook. Then yarn over one last time and pull that yarn through both loops, and that's called a double crochet. Now you're going to chain 3, skip 3 stitches and go into the 4th stitch with a double crochet. Again, chain 3, skip 3 stitches, go into the 4th stitch with a double crochet and you're just going to do this all the way down. So now I'm at the end of my row, and as you can see, I have 3 chains left. So I'm going to just pretend like it's 4. It's okay. I've done the first row of these mesh stitches. Now at the end of the row, instead of chaining 3, we're going to chain 6. And we're going to do this at the end of every single row. I've turned my work and I'm going to do a double crochet into these gaps. So yarn over, go into that first big gap and do a double crochet. And now you're going to chain 3 like we did earlier and go into this next one. And you're just going to do this all the way down. Since I'm at the end, I'm going to chain 6, turn my work, and now we do the same thing. We go into this very first gap with a double crochet, chain 3, and then just repeat the whole way down.
So I'm on my third row now, and I'll do this for a total of 10 rows. You can make few or more rows, depending on the lens you want. So I just finished my 10 rows. This will be the lens of the front and back panels. Now you're going to chain 6, as usual. Turn the work, and now we're going to create the neck opening. We'll start with the mesh stitches there, then we'll skip this section, chain over this space, reconnect it and continue with the mesh stitches here. For my size, I'm going to make 4 squares on each side. Yours might be different, depending on the size you do, but basically you want to be kind of in this proportion. I'll start with a double crochet into the hole and chain 3, just like usual. However, I'm only going to make 4 of these stitches. Next, you'll need to calculate how many stitches you'll go over in this direction. Since I did 4 grids over here, I'm going to count 4 on the other side, plus 1. Then count the number of holes between where you stopped and where you'll start again. For me, it's 8. Yours might be different. Multiply this count by 4, since there are 4 stitches per box, and then add 3. So now you're going to chain that number. For me, I'll chain 35. Once you've chained the appropriate number, connect it in the n plus 1 square. I'll connect it in the 5th square with a double crochet. So I yarn over, insert the hook into the 5th square and do double crochet. I continue by moving into the next square and proceed with the regular mesh stitch we've been using all along. When you reach the last stitch, chain 6 just as you normally would. Turn your work, and now let's work on a back panel. So start by using your regular stitch into these first squares. Once you've used up the available squares to work into, count out the 4 stitches. Count this one right here as a stitch, then count this double crochet as a stitch, and count this one and the next. You'll be going into the 4s, then do double crochet. Again chain 3, skip 3 stitches, do double crochet, chain 3, and repeat this across the entire chain. Once you run out of spaces in the chain, chain 3, yarn over and go into the next box. At this point, ensure that the number of holes you have matches the number of holes here, and then you haven't added any extra. And then we're just going to do what we've been doing, where you do a double crochet, chain 3, and then just go into all the holes. I'm going to keep doing this stitch until I get to 10 rows, counting this one as the first one. 
After completing my 10th row, I chain up one and fold my back panel to the front panel. Now let's create the armhole. To do this, we're going to slip stitch the front and back panel together until we have an opening here that fits around our arm at the armpit area. So I insert the hook through one of the front loops on the panel, then locate a corresponding loop on the back panel, insert the hook through it, grab the yarn and pull it through all of the loops on the hook. Then I just find another stitch and do the same thing. Here is a scheme to illustrate this process more clearly. Once you're done, it should resemble something like this. At this point I chain 3 and then I do a double crochet into the next hole. Again chain 3 and continue with the same stitch as before all around. For the last stitch, chain 3 and then go into the very first stitch. From here we'll be working in a spiral, without any stopping or ending points. So I'm going to keep doing this until I get the right length and then I'll come back. I finished my sleeve. As you can see, it's about 51 cm, which is good for me. Once you've done your last stitch, you're just going to chain 3. But instead of doing double crochet in this next hole, you're just going to do a slip stitch, like that. And then just chain 1 and cut your yarn. Then pull it through, tighten it, and you're done with your first sleeve. Now let's move on to the second sleeve. We'll be following the same steps we just did, but first we need to attach the yarn. So fold the two panels together, find the first two loops, insert the hook into them, then grab your yarn and make a slip knot. Put the slip knot on a hook and pull it for all two loops. And then you're going to slip stitch the corresponding stitches together like we did on the other sleeve. Make sure that the number of squares around your armpit matches on both sleeves. And then I'm literally just doing the exact same thing that we did on the other sleeve until I reach the same lens that was on the first sleeve. So I finished my top and now the final step is to weave in the ends. To do this, I take my darning needle and weave it through the random loops, like so. Thank you. 
Afterward, I simply trim the axis, allowing it to blend in discreetly. And I repeat this process for all the yarn ends. So that's the final product! I hope this video was helpful to you and inspired you to give it a try. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next videos!